presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Raiser, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Michigan Legacy Credit Union, building, preserving, sharing your legacy. And Snapcamp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, serving Metro Detroit since 1926. Hello and welcome inside the State Champ Sports Network studios on the campus of Lawrence Technological University. It is so great to be back with you. Another week of Michigan High School Spring Sports coverage for you. Mother Nature still teasing us a bit, but the games go on. And we've got highlights. I'm Lauren Plant. And I'm Jenna Skelsky. We're spreading the coverage around to include action in baseball, softball, boys golf, girls soccer, girls tennis, and boys lacrosse. Speaking of softball, our softball player of the year race is heating up. The voting is tightening up. Will there be a shakeup in the top 10 this week? Stay tuned. You'll find out soon. Now we've got another in the news segment and our main event is a state ranked battle on the soccer pitch. But let's kick things off with baseball. KLAA West Division matchup. The Northville Mustangs sporting their Armed Forces jerseys at home to take on the Howell Highlanders. Northville looking to win game five of the young campaign. The senior Matt Crane on the hill. Luke Russell stood there like a house by the side of the road. Crane went seven innings and struck out five. Howell coming in seven up, only three down on the year. Sophomore Adam Marakic got the start. Nick Gatoni sent back to the dugout. We were scoreless after three. The Highlanders came through in the fifth. Runners on the corner. Senior Isaac Miller shot down the line. Mickey Bonani crossing the dish. The sophomore Marakic on his game on the mound. Nick Mansfield down swinging. Adam went the distance. No runs, one hit. Harrison Kubicki, his final victim, seven strikeout. Howell shuts out Northville, one nothing the final. Highlanders get win, number eight. We head to the mid-Michigan area for softball. Saginaw Valley League matchup as Grand Blank went on the road to take on the Lightning from Lapeer High School. This is Grand Blank's first season in the SVL. We start the action top of the second. Bobcats bullying with the runner on third. Junior Olivia Bainbridge, the blooper. Megan Martin darts home. GB in the lead. Same at bat. Ribby runner on second. Annabelle Morningstar gashes a gapper. Rebecca Oding across. Bobcats led by a pair after the opening inning. Jump ahead to the third. Bobcats bat still blazing. The sophomore Oding taps it deep to right. Martin comes all the way around from first. The blank up four. Top of the six. Bases juiced. Bainbridge bashes down the left field line. Two more score. But the real wow factor here, the pitching performance of Kendall Kolchak. All conference as a freshman, the superlative sophomore faced 18 batters, no hits, no runs, 14 strikeouts, a perfect game. Grand Blank beats Lapeer in six innings, 10 nothing. I'm Sean Belegian, and let's take a look at boys golf. 11 schools competing at the Forest Hills Invite at the Egypt Valley Country Club. Let's head to Grand Rapids South Christian and Jared Faber gets the chip within a few feet of the cup. He's tapping in to save par. The Sailors would wind up in seventh. We go to the 10th hole. This is Rory Myers from Wayland High School with the short birdie putt. He was your medalist with a 74 and the Wildcats finish in third place. Xavier Lee from Ann Arbor Pioneer had this short tap in for birdie on the ninth. He shot a four over 76 and the Pioneers were your runner-up. The team on this day, Forest Hills Northern. On the 10th, Noah Kolar had this 25-foot uphill putt for par, and he makes it. Northern wins the Forest Hills invite by two shots over Ann Arbor Pioneer. We go back to the mid-Michigan area for more baseball action as Corona was at home to take on the Chessening Indians. We pick things up in the bottom of the fourth. Corona already up four to nothing. Ethan Hollister gets the base hit to right, Colt Condell would come in to score. They add another run and led by six after four innings of play. But back comes Chessening in the fifth. Base is loaded. Ty Gross with the line drive off the pitcher's glove. It's bobbled by the second baseman, allowing Michael James to score. Part of a three-run inning, and the Indians now trail six to three. 
The Cavaliers, they'd come right back in the bottom of the inning. It's Condell sending it to left for the base hit. That would score a pair, and Corona was up by five. They add more in that inning. Base is juiced. Peyton Norton singles up the middle. Another two runs cross the dish. Corona goes on to beat Chessening 13-3 in five innings. Do you know what the most popular game in the world is? It's League of Legends. Ever since its release in 2009, millions of gamers log in every month from over 145 countries. The most recent figures show that League of Legends has over 100 million monthly players. Did you catch our State Champs eSports show last week? If not, you can watch it on your favorite social media platform. Just search State Champs Network. Our League of Legends State Champs eSports season is winding down as we speak. The weekend of May 17th, 18th, and 19th, Lawrence Technological University will host the third annual League of Legends tournament. The top 16 teams will compete for scholarship money and a whole lot of prizes. Go to statechampsesports.net to get all the latest info. We'll be playing Rocket League in the fall. It is going to be awesome. We'll be right back. I've always been really good at math and science, and I knew I wanted to work in healthcare, but not as a doctor. So I chose Lawrence Tech's biomedical engineering program. I've pushed myself to take internships, like this one, at a hospital in an orthopedic research lab. Thanks to Lawrence Tech's unique, hands-on style of education, I'm graduating with a published research paper and a job. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. I love working for Stryker. I'm genuinely excited to come to work every day. We support each other and look out for each other. I love Stryker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. It's hard for young people to get financed and Michigan Legacy helped me get my first auto loan. For that, I'm forever grateful and I love this credit union. At Michigan Legacy Credit Union, students are eligible to get a car loan without a co-signer. We are offering car loans to members who are 18 years or older and have not established credit yet. If you have a job, Michigan Legacy Credit Union can provide a car loan you can afford, allowing you to make your first big purchase. Go to michiganlegacycu.org to learn more. Start your financial future with Michigan Legacy Credit Union. Today, we'd like to bring to you a new rule for baseball for the 2018-19 season. The change affects pitchers in the set position and with their pivot foot. Previously, the entire pivot foot had to be in contact with and parallel to the pitcher's plate. While the pivot foot must still be parallel to the pitcher's plate, now only any portion of that foot is required to be in contact. So many pitchers' mounds have developed ruts in front of the rubber that it makes it difficult for a pitcher to be in complete contact with it. And the common practice of pitchers delivering from the edges of the plate has led to this change. In addition, the non-pivot foot must be entirely in front of a line extending through the front edge of the pitcher's plate to achieve a legal set position. The wind-up position continues to be indicated when the pitcher's pivot foot is not parallel to the plate and any part of the non-pivot foot is behind a line extending through the front edge of the plate. Delivering a pitch while not having the required combination of foot positioning in either the set or the wind-up positions will result in an illegal pitch being called. For everything baseball, check out our website at mhsaa.com. I'm Jenna Skelski and we go back to more baseball as Madison Heights Madison went on the road to take on Warren Fitzgerald in a Mac Ron's division matchup. And we picked things up in the top of the first. Madison with the runner on second and it would be Dylan Brown with the base hit to left. Tanner Barndollar would come in to score and the Eagles led 2-0 after the opening inning. We jump ahead to the fourth with Madison now leading by four and it would be the senior Austin Brown with the deep drive to left and that one is out of here for the two run home run. Eagles flying now up by six. 
Later in the inning, it would be Peyton Piccanini taking it the opposite way to left center for the double and Dylan Brown would cross the dish. Madison scored seven in the inning to go up 14 zip. The Grand Valley State baseball and football commit Austin Brown was on the mound for the Eagles. The nominee for the Detroit Athletic Club's Male Athlete of the Year award would be in control in this one. Going five innings, giving up no runs, no hits, and striking out 15 as Madison goes on to beat Warren Fitzgerald 14 to nothing. We go back to the west side of the state for girls tennis as East Grand Rapids went on the road to take on the Eagles from Grand Rapids Christian. East Grand Rapids came in third in Division II. Sloan Teske for the Pioneers is defending number one singles champ. She was going up against Annika Weaver of GR Christian. And we go to the first set. Some good back and forth volley and in the near court it would be the University of Toledo commit Teske with the smash in front. She would take the first set, six love. Second set action, it was more of the same for Teske as she gets the forehand winner as she goes on to win in straight sets. Grand Rapids Christian is fifth in Division Three. responds in two doubles. The duo of Hannah Fang and Grace Portinga would take care of East Grand Rapids in their match winning in straight sets. But it would be too much of East Grand Rapids on this afternoon. Allie Toll and Olivia Vinselje would get the two set win in number one doubles. The Pioneers would take seven out of eight flights on this afternoon. In two singles, the junior Haley Elliott with the backhand winner. As she wins in straight sets over Ryan Breslin as East Grand Rapids would go on to take the match. Welcome back inside the State Champs studio. The weather for the most part cooperating, although not always. The softball diamonds around the state teeming with activity. Our total softball player of the year race is also jamming. Just as of last Wednesday, we were nearing 10,000 votes. That's awesome. Keep it up. Now, every week, Total Softball's Donnie Dreyer and I get into it at statechampsnetwork.com as well as on social media, and we update the race. What's happening this week? Well, we're going to do a little update on some of our top 10 lists, a couple kids on our watch list, and also some that we're watching to get on the watch list. We're also going to talk about the influx of now a lot of the smaller schools and their top players. So we're going to talk about that as well. That's right. Remember to vote for your favorite at statechampsnetwork.com. The leading vote getter can never be removed from our top 10. And check this week's segment out online right now. It's hard for young people to get financed and Michigan Legacy helped me get my first auto loan. For that, I'm forever grateful and I love this credit union. At Michigan Legacy Credit Union, students are eligible to get a car loan without a co-signer. We are offering car loans to members who are 18 years or older and have not established credit yet. If you have a job, Michigan Legacy Credit Union can provide a car loan you can afford, allowing you to make your first big purchase. Go to michiganlegacycu.org to learn more. Start your financial future with Michigan Legacy Credit Union. The ones who wake up every morning ready to take on the world. The ones who push their limits to be better than the rest. You're looking to join a team of leaders who want to be challenged. You want to be pushed to your limits. You value freedom and think you have what it takes. The ones with speed, strength, intellect, and determination. Michigan Army National Guard. We see you. I'm on the Blue Devil football team, and that's a great place to be because other colleges wouldn't let me be both a football player and a nursing student. And just because I'm a dog on the field doesn't mean I can't take care of people. And man, do I love people. The small class size at LTU give me awesome access to my nursing professors. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. This fundraiser has been awesome for our squad. We've made a lot of money, very easy to do, it's very quick to do, and it's very effective. Go to DoughRaiser.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Welcome back to State Champs. Let's go in the news. In high school football recruiting, C.J. Harris out of West Bloomfield High School committed to Ohio University. 
the 6'4", 210-pound, soon-to-be senior dual-threat quarterback, threw for nearly 2,400 yards, 22 touchdowns, while running for 475 yards and four scores, and that was just his first year at quarterback for West Bloomfield in 2018. More class of 2020 football commitments coming from Bay City Central's Devil Washington. He attended West Virginia University spring game and committed right after it. The 6'4 wideout had Big Ten offers from Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, and Purdue. Washington had 23 catches for 237 yards, but just one TD at receiver last year as a junior. He also ran, though, for 119 and two scores. One of the biggest 2020 recruits in the nation, Oak Park's Justin Rogers, rated the number one offensive guard in the country. Rogers is fresh off a trip to the University of Tennessee and he visited Kentucky this weekend. Recent comments by the 6'4", 300-pounder says his top teams are Alabama, Auburn, LSU, and Clemson. He also said Michigan, Michigan State, and Ohio State are in the mix to basketball, and Southfield Christian head coach Josh Baker built a tremendous legacy over the last eight years that included five Class D slash Division IV state titles. Earlier last week, Josh announced he's leaving the Eagles to join his good friend Nate Oates for an assistant job at the University of Alabama. Baker was an assistant under Nate at Romulus during Oates' tenure as head coach. In baseball news, congratulations to Sterling Heights Stevenson's head man, Joe Emanuel, just recently won his 500th game, leading the Titans the last two decades. In 2005, Stevenson upset Ann Arbor Pioneer to capture the school's only baseball state championship. And finally, former Country Day basketball superstar Shane Battier has been selected into the College Basketball Hall of Fame. Shane was the National Player of the Year while at Duke, helping the Blue Devils to the national title in 2001. And that's in the news. I'm Gabe O'Neill. We go to some boys lacrosse. The Highlanders of Rochester Adams were at home to take on the Bulldogs from Birmingham United in an OAA conference matchup. Adams and White coming into the contest 8-1. We pick things up in the first period. This is the senior midi, Will Ronan, going on in and fires it into the back of the net. And that would put the Highlanders up 2-1. Birmingham United looking to win its fifth game on the season would score the last three goals to close out the opening period. Johnny Cross gets the pass and he scores it. The Bulldogs led 4-2 after the first. The Highlanders would come right back in the early stages of the second. Ronan with the feed to Reed Vaught, and he would get that hat trick in the first half, and we were knotted up at four. The Bulldogs would answer just a few minutes later. James DeWall gets it by for the goal, and we went into halftime all tied up at five apiece. We jump ahead to the fourth period with the game still even at five. It's Ronan once again putting in his second goal of the game, and that put Adams up a goal six to five. The Highlanders would add another one with seven minutes to go in the game. Aiden Boyve fakes the pass and fires it in for his second on the contest. As Rochester Adams hangs on to beat Birmingham United, 7-6 the final score. And the Highlanders improve to 9-1 on the season. Over to some Division III girls soccer where the undefeated 7-0 Clawson Trojans hosted the 5-0-1 Mariners from Marine City. First half action with both teams trying to spark something early in the game. Freshman Ella Koff stops the Mariner push and plays a nice lead ball up to junior Addison McCullough, who blazes past the defense and finds the back of the net. Trojans up 1-0 early. Clawson now up 2-0 thanks to another tally from McCullough, but she wasn't done yet. Freshman Renata Carlissimo plays one up into the MC zone, and McCullough cruises past the defense and easily buries it home. Just like that, all within five minutes, she had a hat trick less than halfway through the first. Another freshman adding to the offensive attack was Abby Lodato keeping up the pressure and drawing the foul inside the Mariner box. She sets up for the penalty kick and has no trouble getting that one past the keeper. Trojans would add one more and lead 5-0 at the half. Marine City came out in the second half looking to change the momentum. Senior captain Lydia Fowler plays a little give and go for the shot. Macy Williams makes a nice diving save. Then Kirsten Golan gets a chance, but chips it high and back into play off the crossbar, where the Clawson defense is able to clear the danger. Later in the second half, a nice double team from Sydney Kleiner and Lodato gets the ball loose to Koff. She makes a nice cross pass to who else but McCullough, who nets her fourth goal of the day to cap off the scoring for the Trojans. Marine City would end up knocking one in, but Clawson comes out with the 6-1 win, making a statement in the Mac Gold Conference, improving to 8-0 on the season.
It's time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. The College of Architecture and Design showcased its finest minds at the Woodward Gallery in Detroit this year. The goal of this event is for seniors to share their thesis they've developed since the beginning of the school year. Let's go check it out. VR game um, based around the illusion of choice in video games, so if your choices really matter in the long run. Um, but it's sort of evolved into just a fun little VR experience. Specifically at Lawrence Tech, the people here are awesome. The, the faculty is great. They're, I know them on a personal level. Uh, we're a first name basis. really great time. I mean, it's one of those things that I've been preparing for for a whole year and it still doesn't really feel like it's actually happening. We've been working on the same project for a whole year and like actually being at the end of it is just such a crazy, like unreal kind of experience. If you'd like to learn more about the College of Architecture and Design at Lawrence Technological University, go visit ltu.edu. If you happen to be in downtown Detroit this weekend, you may have noticed a lot of activity everywhere. That's because the first Robotics Championships Detroit took place at Cobo Hall and Ford Field. Over 400 teams from around the globe competing for the right to be world champs. Do you know what state had the most teams competing? Michigan, of course. And state champs, RoboZone was there. Tune in Sunday at 8.30 a.m. for a detailed look inside the Robotics Championships. To view past episodes and check out all of our exclusive online content, log on to RoboZoneTV.com or check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and IGTV. The main event is next. Southfield truly is the ideal place to live, work, and play. Well, it's a very uh, exciting time in the city of Southfield. Great neighborhoods, great city services, and Fortune 500 companies. Southfield has something for everyone. Recognized as Michigan's premier business address, home to world-class educational institutions, voted one of the nation's most livable metro area suburbs. Southfield is the center of it all. Are you stuck in your job? Getting frustrated playing the waiting game for the next opportunity to advance your career? Let Blue Chip Talent help. As an award-winning talent acquisition company, our specialty is matching candidates with careers in IT and engineering. At Blue Chip Talent, we take a laser-focused approach to reaching your career goals. We have access to jobs you won't find anywhere else to help advance your career faster and easier. Plus, we take care of you. Employees receive industry-leading benefits and competitive perks. Don't waste another minute worrying because we are ridiculously good at advancing careers. Welcome to Hungry Howie's. We ordered one of the new stuffed flavored crust pizzas. Sorry, when my stomach talks, I always listen. Of course I'll share it with you. Do not use that language with me. Flavor starts here with fresh dough made daily and 100% real mozzarella cheese. Order a large two topping pizza for just $7.99 and make it a stuffed flavored crust for only $2 more. Hungry Howie's! Welcome back to State Champs. Hey, we love our soccer in this state, and we had two great programs go at it on Thursday in a Division I versus Division II crossover. Both teams ranked, both hoping for long runs in this year's state tournament, Wald Lake Northern and Detroit Country Day, the main event. Here we go, two teams in our girls' top 50 facing off on Thursday night. Number five, Wald Lake Northern from the Lakes Valley Conference going up against the number 15, Detroit Country Day. They play an independent schedule. Now over the past week, Wald Lake Northern had two starters go down due to knee injuries. Next women up, right? The Knights were 18-0 last season when they fell in a district semifinal shootout to Wald Lake Central. Detroit Country Day competed in the Division III state tournament a year ago fell to Warren Regina in the regional final. Both teams preparing for long tourney runs in 2019. Let's pick up the action of this one early in the first half. Good opportunity here. Country Day sophomore Jordan Ryan shot denied by Wald Lake Northern junior netminder Alexandra Giroir. Later, Knights with a free kick. There's the returning dream teamer, the Michigan recruit Danny Wolf, who gets a foot on it. Back of the net, WLN snatched a 1-0 lead. Still first half, 
Yellow Jackets are going to get another opportunity. Kennedy Bearden gets her left on it, but it's Jaror, the sprawling save. It remained 1-0 at intermission. So the Yellow Jackets looking to even this contest up early in the early part of the second half, but the sophomore Mackenzie Martin shot rings this one off the crossbar. Country Day would finally pull through minutes later. L. Hartshe is committed to play hockey and soccer at Yale. Off the corner attempt, the heady header. We were evened up at one. Hartshe is the nominee for the Detroit Athletic Club's Female Athlete of the Year. She's also a nationally ranked tennis player. This is just seven minutes later, and Hartshe, the go-ahead goal. That was big because Detroit Country Day hangs on, defeats Wall Lake Northern 2-1 to one the final. This was a huge game for us. We were coming off a loss, and that was our first loss of the season, and we wanted to really see how our girls bounced back. And it was really nice to see that everyone picked it up and picked each other up and got the win today. And that was a big D1 school, so it's really nice to see where we're at in the season. Time now for the Great Clips Clip of the Week. We go back to the diamond and check out Austin Brown from Madison Heights, Madison, with the big blast over the wall in left center for the two-run homer against Warren Fitzgerald. The clip of the week is presented by Great Clips. It's gonna be great. That's all the time we have this week, but the conversation always continues on social media. Follow and like State Champs on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and subscribe to our State Champs TV YouTube page. And please visit our website, statechampsnetwork.com. Vote in our Softball Player of the Year race and check out Matt Mowry's top 25 softball teams in the state. That's right, getting a lot of conversation going. Hey, we're committed to bringing you high school sports content year-round. You aren't going to believe what we're going to be delivering in the near future. State Champs is Michigan, it's Indiana, and we want to own all the Great Lakes states. It's bold, I know, but this is our passion, and we are here now and long into the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. There it is. Bank it. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Michigan Legacy Credit Union. Building, preserving, sharing your legacy. And Snap Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Serving Metro Detroit since 1926.